Welcome everybody, um, as most of you know, um, I'm not able to paint with my right hand anymore, so my channel has to change a little bit, so what's going to happen now, and many of my supporters from Patreon and Kofi and YouTube have said things like making videos, uh, review videos, um, and I've done a, quite a few review vid videos in the past, um, but um, now I'll do a lot more because um, it's a way of keeping in the game. Uh, and while I'm learning to paint with my left hand, um, it's a good way to show you my collection of old miniatures and uh, my hobby life. Um, I've got thousands of products from Reaper Miniatures and different companies and they all need to be shown and so you can all see the goodness of the miniature world out there. Um, and I've many many miniatures that are very highly collectible um now to, to with my arm um what what's happening now because but uh, most of you know i've got a frozen shoulder which means it could take six months to three years to heal we don't know nobody knows the future and now what what happens is i can't lift my arm higher i can lift it to, to about there um i still got use of my hand I still got use of my hand, but I can't lift anything. I can't open doors. I can't lift a box. Um, but I can like hold a mini for like a couple of minutes. But because I'm painting left-handed, um, I st I still can't hold the mini in my right hand to paint. So I need to uh, work out a way to actually paint the miniatures now without using any support for my hands at all. So it'll be purely with my left hand. Uh, but at least I can still use my right hand. Um, but I cannot paint. I have I've tried, and it is just so painful. It, the pain is unbelievable. Anyway, enough about that. Um, I'll give you updates all about that on my Twitch show um, on this this Thursday coming. This Thursday coming, um, I shall have a bash at painting my first miniature. Um, left-handed. Now I'm going to do um, skeletons because skeletons are the easiest miniatures to paint. Um, and I think it'll be a bit of fun to actually paint with my left hand live on Twitch stream and then you can see the pure frustration maybe and <laughs> you'll get the you'll get the raw the raw power of the, the, the left-handed painting. Anyway for today's show um, what we have here is t -Rachl. This is the very, very rare dragon now from Reaper Miniatures. This is a pure metal goodness miniature. It's absolutely huge for a metal miniature. It weighs an absolute ton, so I can't move it with my one hand. So I'll, I'll give it a little spin around. It's, the box is beautiful. Now, I was very, very lucky. I found this in a little hidden uh, a little hidden village in France um, <laughs> yes a little hidden village in France um, so these these little these little miniatures get everywhere so I got it from this guy in France it's got a tiny little bit of damage to the box uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably repair that because what I like to do with my Reaper collection is I like to have the boxes in my display cabinets as well because being a collector <laughs> okay so here's the back of the box here so what I'll do is I'll show you the box and what's in the box and um, then what I'll do is I'll stick the miniature together and then we'll have a 360 of the miniature once it's actually built to, just to show you the scale and size but it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful um, Sandra Garrity, of course, uh, sculpted this miniature. Uh, Sandra Gar Garrity is in my top 10 all-time sculptors, so mark that down in your books. Um, it's a nine-piece uh, multi-part kit. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to have to do this video in parts because I can't... Um, use my hand <laughs> so what I'll do is um, I will cut and paste this video um, so what I'll do I'll jump jump to the next part when with the unboxing of the actual video now so I'll be back in a sec 
Okay, so I've opened the box and got all the parts out. Um, and of course, the first thing that came to my notice is we had the Reaper magazine. Uh, normally, this is called the, the Casket Works. Uh, this is the holiday catalogue. Now, if you are a Reaper collector, these are like the Holy Grail. The, these are the tombs you need to buy. Because each one of these is jam-packed with goodness. Um, and of course, it catalogues all the metal miniatures and as they went through the years it, it, introducing the bones miniatures as well they'll have the bones miniatures through these magazines now they don't release this magazine so much now a couple of years back they did one after the bones kickstarter there's a magazine for that one um but with everything becoming digital and um, hard copies of the magazines uh, um they're coming obsolete which is a real shame because um like probably many of you of my supporters you're all around the same age as me maybe a bit younger maybe a bit older but if you go back to the 80s and 90s the joy the, the absolute joy of buying your monthly model mart magazine from the from the store you know and you'd go through all the miniatures and you know you you had you know white dwarf as well back then dragon magazine um there's there's something that's so special about buying a magazine and um, the world we live in now of course it's all slowly becoming a digital world and you read it on your ipad give me a hard copy any day because it's just something about having having it in your hand and flicking through the pages and you know marking it down in the pages which miniatures you've got which miniatures you haven't got um and that's the excitement of a collector um you know you can go through all the magazines it's like oh you know it's like got 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 i haven't got <laughs> and i'm sure many of you were exactly the same as me so yes this is the magazine that comes in the actual box and all the all the large all the large miniatures from Reaper in this size boxes, they all came with a casket magazine. Um, so these are like, these are my little nighttime reads. I've, e I've even got these in the bathroom to read while I'm on the toilet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay. So now we've got all these parts. Now I, f I did not know, but this miniature actually comes with a mini. Um, I was absolutely over the moon when I just found him in the box. So I'm not 100% sure because there's no picture of this miniature on the box, but he was in there. So if anybody can tell me in the comments if this miniature d does actually come with this box set, I would be very, very happy. Now let me get some focus. Um, one second. Let's fiddle with the focus on the computer. No, that's the wrong, that's the wrong camera. That's me. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So this is the little mini there. I try and turn it with this hand. Oh, there we are. I'll use this hand easier. So this is the one miniature. Very very nice. Hmm. It's quite difficult doing everything with just my left hand. Um, one second. Let's see if we can move this camera around a little bit. There we are. Okay, let me show you what parts are in the box. So, as you can see, these are heavyweight chunks of metal. This is the legs, of course. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the size of that. That is heavy. And the body as well. The body is just one mass. It's a solid, solid metal. Absolutely amazing. And we've got the wings. Let's see if we can get this in there. What I'll do, I'll stick it together in a minute, so we'll, we'll see what it looks like together. But I just wanted to show you the parts. Very nice. Nice, nice clean sculpt as well. Sandra uh, knows how to uh, sculpt a mini, that's for sure. That is for sure. 
Got a little bit of flashing I need to remove in there. Um, it's always a good idea when you're doing your metal miniatures, just make sure you get all the flashing off first before you stick it together. Um, a, a little round nose file will help get any, any parts inside the miniature away. And the same around the fingers on this one, you can see a little bit of flashing in between the fingers, which we can remove easily enough in the file. Okay, I shall put this onto a little 360 once I've stuck it together, on my, my wheel of pain as I call it, and we'll see what it looks like fully built up. Here is the built up model, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Now it's um, around 12 inches high and 18 and a half inches to the top of the head there. Um, so it's an absolute beast, like I say it's all full metal. Uh, what I'll be doing with this miniature once I'm back to normal is I shall be probably mounting it to an MSP Sorry, base boss, a base boss, 160mm base boss base. Um, and we might actually go for a little little treasure room or something like that. Um, but it's an absolutely gorgeous miniature. And if you can find one on eBay or any of these other type of shops, um, it's well worth picking up, mainly for the collector's value as well. Uh, I mean, for me, I collect these miniatures, but um, I don't keep a mint in box. Um, I like to paint them and have them on display. I'll have the box on display, but I'll also paint up the miniature anyway. Um, I do find there's collectors, and then there's collectors that keep everything mint in packaging. I don't see the joy in keeping it actually sealed in the box. If you buy something, you want to paint it or play with it at least. <laughs> so there's collectors and there's collectors. But this is a beautiful miniature from Reaper Miniatures. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little show. I'll be doing a lot more of these now. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like these type of videos. Um, and if there's any other types of videos you could recommend that I do. While I'm kind of out of my painting action. Now again if you want to watch me on Twitch this coming Thursday. I will be painting my first miniatures left-handed it's just an hour show if you want to pop on and show some support that would be fantastic there's links to my twitch channel below so until next time take care of yourselves and love to every single one of you